Hi, my name is Roger, and people have asked me, can you mix in headphones? I say you can. I do it all the time, and there are others that do it as well. In this video, I want to show you the pros and cons of mixing in headphones and some tips how you can do it. I have watched YouTube videos, I've read articles, and people have said to me that you can't mix in headphones. You should only use studio monitors. It's true that a perfect treated room with good studio monitors, nothing can beat that. That's true. But let's be honest, how many of us have that? Most of us sit in small rooms when we are mixing. Maybe we even mixing when we are traveling in hotel rooms and such. It's impossible to have treated rooms then. At least perfect treated rooms. I have a small room. It's a little bit treated. It's not perfect in any means, but it's treated enough so I can mix. But I tend to use headphones 70% of the time when I'm mixing anyway. There are positive and negative sides of mixing in headphones. Of course, let's talk about the negatives first. You take away the room when you're mixing in headphones. That means that you have no reflections from the ceiling, walls or floor. That could mean that you exaggerate reverb and room mics and such when you're mixing. Also panning gets exaggerated when mixing in headphones. So if you pan anything to the right, totally, you won't hear anything in your left ear. And that has to do with crossfeed also. And that is another negative. You don't have crossfeed when mixing in headphones. Crossfeed is when a sound comes to from your left speaker to your left ear. It will also hit the right ear a little bit later. So you get a more three-dimensional sound when mixing in studio monitors. There are plugins that have made a solution for that. More about that later. Another negative thing I have found is that I tend to mix too loud because I don't have the physics from the studio monitor hitting my body. I only have the small speakers in my headphones. So if I want to feel the bass drum or the bass, I tend to turn up the volume, which I shouldn't do. And talking about bass, there's a risk of having too much bass when you're mixing in headphones, at least in my experience. Well, how about the positive sides? Well, first you take away the room. <laughs> yes, I said that when I talked about the negatives, but it can also be a benefit because you're taking away the room that is not extremely well treated. So you will hear things, the frequency response of your tracks clearer in headphones. Second thing is that headphones exaggerate the stereo field. Yeah, I said that also on the negative side, but I think it could be a positive side also, especially when you're panning things in between center and the side. If you want a tambourine exactly in the spot between them, you can easily find that spot with headphones. I also think that effects such as reverb, chorus and so on, you can hear clearer in headphones than you can in studio monitors. So if you want to tweak your reverb to perfection, put on your headphones. And the last and maybe most important thing is that you have the same sound everywhere you are. If you listen to music, if you mix in a different room, it's the same sound every time, which makes mixing in headphones consistent. When I read articles about mixing in headphones, they say that you must do a few things to be able to mix in headphones, and most of them I don't agree with. The first thing is that you should use open back headphones. I don't, I don't agree with that. Use the headphones you think sound good use the headphones that you are used to. I use two pair of headphones, mostly. I have these Bayer Dynamic DT770, 770. It's not the, it's not the flattest frequency response in these, but I have Sonarworks that have made adjustments to these headphones. Um, but they are very nice to have on. I can sit for hours, the sound is very soft. And I use these when I program my synthesizer, when I'm editing things, because I can sit for a long time with these headphones. The pair I use the most when I'm mixing are these focal uh, headphones. 
I think the frequency response is rather flat. And most importantly, I've gotten used to them. I've listened to so much music in them and I bring them everywhere. The second thing the articles say that is you should use a crossfeed plugin. Uh, there, there are several plugin manufacturers that have them, Waves and, and so on. I, I only get dizzy. I can't use them. I only get dizzy. For me, they don't work. I rather have just the tracks via my master bus and into my headphones. They say that you should have a really high quality headphone amplifier. Yeah, you should. But most, at least professional sound cards, uh, audio interfaces, they have already good uh, headphone amplifiers. You can find better. Yes, you can, but they are good enough. So my tips for mixing in headphones are, first of all, Pick a pair of headphones that you think sounds good, that you are comfortable with, and listen to a lot of music in them. I bring these everywhere. I bring these when I'm out walking and listening to music. Unfortunately, I have an iPhone, which means I need to use the dongle thing, which I always lose. Now I have to buy one again because I, I can't find it. But I listen to a lot of music in these, I always do my final adjustments when mixing in these headphones, not any other pair, because I have a reference point with these headphones. Secondly, be aware that you're closing out other sounds. Be aware that you might expect to have too much reverb, too much room mics, too much reflections when mixing in headphones, because in, head in the headphones it, it sounds okay, but when you're out in the speakers, maybe it's too much. Just be aware of that. The third thing is mix on low volume. Not only will your mixes get more exciting, you will also save your ears. And the last thing is something you might want to do even if you have mixed through speakers, is to check your mix on other systems, other speakers and other headphones before sending your perfect mix into the world. Thank you so much for watching. If you have things that I didn't think about in this video, please leave them in the comments. And also, if you agree or not agree, please write a comment about that. Headphones in Swedish is Hörlurar. Hörlurar. Until next time, Roger that.